Hello, this is Dr. Stuart Hoover, Doctor of Natural Health and Doctor of Pastoral Medicine. I'm the founder of the Essential to Health Advanced Natural Health Care Center in Springfield, Missouri, and I've been practicing functional health for over 20 years. I'd like to welcome you today to our presentation on Functional Health, a True Health Care System. I'd like to start with talking about the state of health in America today. Why are we the unhealthiest and most overweight country in the world? We have the most advanced medical system in the world, Unfortunately, little or no focus is put on prevention today. Most of the foods that we consume today are manufactured and processed with little to no nutritional value to help support the human body. Billions of dollars are being spent on diets, dietary supplements, and exercise programs every year that are producing little to no sustained results. Folks, there is no one-size-fits-all fix for this. We have to become more educated in prevention and take a more proactive approach versus being reactive when it comes to our health. Now let's talk about functional medicine. What is functional medicine? It really is the future of medicine. It views the body as one integrative system and seeks to identify and address the root causes of dysfunction. Functional medicine takes into consideration the entire person, their medical, family, and psychosocial history as well as their genetics. Functional medicine blends traditional medicine with complementary and adjunct therapies and focuses on lifestyle and nutritional changes to target and prevent illness and disease. Our bodies are complex systems but often operate on one guiding principle and that is survival. If our bodies experience excessive stress, emotional, chemical, food, structural, or physical, they simply switch to an emergency and survival mode and logical operating no longer occurs. We must determine the stresses or imbalances on an individual's body, environmentally, hormonal, nutritional, or biochemical, in order to understand the underlying mechanisms of the dysfunction. Now, pathological medicine, let's look at that compared to functional medicine. The primary goal of pathological medicine is to fit the series of symptoms and signs of an illness a person is experiencing into a category that has already been established. The treatment is then administered and managed according to the diagnosis, not the patient. In fact, the treatment is nearly identical for all patients. In this model, dietary and lifestyle management are rarely emphasized. Competency in this model is based on the standard of care specified by a series of rules followed, not the individual patient results. A good example of this would be the pathological medical model may treat a patient with trouble breathing by diagnosing asthma as the condition and prescribe an inhaler. The individual's physical activity or lack thereof, their body composition and their diet would not be taken into account which could all be associated with in the cause of the condition. Most practitioners today use conventional laboratory reference ranges for your blood chemistry and CBC interpretation. For many practitioners, blood chemistry and CBC analysis is a matter of comparing a test result with the conventional laboratory ranges, seeing whether or not your results are normal or abnormal and attempting to fit them into a particular disease pattern or pathology. Unfortunately, these conventional laboratory reference ranges are designed to identify and diagnose disease states in pathology. So if you fall within the reference range, it is assumed that you have no clinical signs of disease and are considered normal, not healthy, just no worse off than the average person out there. I always ask my clients, how healthy do you think the average American is? Not very healthy. Again, we are the unhealthiest and most overweight country in the world, and that's the population that you're being compared to. You know, every day in my wellness center, I hear from my clients, my doctor said my labs are normal, but I don't feel normal. Again, you can be anywhere within that normal reference range in the middle, low, or high, and you're considered normal. But do you really feel healthy? You know, a good example of this would be people that come into my clinic that have been diagnosed with diabetes. And I'll generally ask them to bring their last five years labs in. And this is typically what we see. Five years ago, their blood glucose levels were a little bit above that mid-normal range. Four years ago, a little bit higher. Three years ago, a little bit higher. Last year, they were barely within that normal range, but they were still considered normal. This year they went, and guess what? They're in the abnormal high range. Now they are marked as diabetic. So for the past five years, they've literally been watched marching towards diabetes. So what if we could have intervened back here two or three or five years ago as we've seen this pattern going the wrong way 
and began to take charge, began to become more proactive and bring that more back into a center range. Now in functional medicine, we actually take that normal reference range and we break it down into three functional ranges. You have a normal fun functional range, you have a functional low range, and a functional high range. So where you are in the normal range tells us much, much more. We can determine your functional range of health. Now here's an example of a conventional laboratory uh, test on the left in our functional assessment on the right. So over here on the left, you'll see that this client had their CMP and CBC done, and these are their test results here. Now, these are the reference ranges that have been term determined by the lab, and anything that would be outside of that reference range would show up under this flagged area. So as you go through this, you can see there's nothing showing up flagged. Everything is within this normal range, so this person is considered normal. And this is actually one of my clients, and I can tell you they were far from normal when they came in the clinic. Now, if you look at this right illustration, this is the functional blood chemistry analysis that we do. So what we've done is taken their results and plugged them into our functional blood chemistry analysis system and compared them to the minimum and maximum range here. Now, when you look over here to the right, this will show you where their results fall within the minimum and maximum range. So now what we're doing is assessing this functionally. Anything going to the left is functionally low. Anything going to the right is functionally high. If we have nothing going left or right, that's functionally balanced. Now anything showing up in green is still well within that functionally balanced zone. It's the yellows and the reds that we begin to really see showing the dysfunction. So again, if you compare this to the typical lab testing that's being done, nothing's showing up because they're simply evaluating are you diseased or normal versus looking at a functional blood chemistry analysis, you can see uh, things are not quite as they appear, not quite normal. Now, with the functional blood chemistry assessment, we begin to associate the chemistry to specific glands and organs in the body. And what this does is it begins to show us where there is dysfunction showing up. And we begin to prioritize the specific gland or system that needs the most support. So now we're truly beginning to dig into the dysfunction. What's truly at the cause of that client's symptom or condition? Now what is the purpose of functional blood chemistry analysis? It is simply to assess the body chemically from a physiological standpoint rather than a pathological standpoint. Rather than looking at the body from a pathological or disease state, let's look at the body from a state of function. After all, doesn't it make more sense to find a health problem before it becomes a disease? By taking the laboratory's pathological ranges and creating a physiological range allows us to find a health problem before it becomes a disease or even becomes life-threatening. Once the physiological ranges are established, we can then determine how each gland and organ in the body is functioning or malfunctioning. We can also determine which gland or organ is the underlying problem. Now we are truly looking at the cause. Once we determine which gland or organ is malfunctioning, the proper nutritional and lifestyle regime for that organ or gland can be established. Then by using natural support like vitamins, minerals, tissue concentrates, herbs, homeopathics, and enzymes, the gland and organ can be restored back to a healthy state. Instead of just treating the symptom with a pharmaceutical, we are now truly addressing the cause and taking a more natural approach. With a follow-up functional blood chemistry analysis, we now have objective findings which will determine if you have accomplished your desired goals. Wouldn't it make more sense if you're going to analyze the chemical aspect of the human body than use chemicals from the body to determine any malfunction that exists? We can also determine your nutritional needs, like how well you do with fatty proteins such as meat and dairy, or if you're better off with carbohydrates such as fruits, vegetables, and grains. This will be a real revelation for most of you. I know when I sit down with most of my clients, they're typically eating completely uh, away from what the body really requires. So this really cuts through what's the right diet for me because we're really looking at your chemistry and determining what's the best nutritional program for you. We will also determine what your balance between acidic and alkaline food should be. This is critical as maintaining an optimal pH balance is one of the foundations of true health. This is truly a remarkable analysis. 
Unfortunately, most medical practitioners today only use the pathological ranges to determine your state of health. So we provide you with nutritional protocols that address your deficiencies and helps return your body to a healthy, functional, well state. You can also avoid taking that shotgun approach or wasting money on the supplement of the month. In other words, on product that provides nutrients your body is not deficient in and you do not need to be supplementing with. It provides early detection of emergent health conditions. It is an inexpensive way to determine how effective your current nutritional program is working or has been. Follow-up testing allows us to chart the effectiveness of your program and make precise adjustments when needed. Maintaining your blood marker values within the optimal functional ranges will allow your immune system to function better, allow you to process and utilize nutrients more efficiently, and help you live a much healthier, happier, and longer vibrant life. The best part is, is you do not even have to come into our clinic to do this. We work with people all around the country. Uh, simply give us a call. We'll direct you to a lab in your area to have the labs done, and this can all be done by phone. Now, I'd like to talk about the lifestyle influence, because this is really what it all comes down to, or you're giving your body a chance to maintain functional wellness. You know, our lifestyle and the environment have a direct influence on our health, and these influencers are mainly the cause for the development of functional and chronic disease in our body. Now what causes functional imbalances? You know we are exposed to tons of silent toxins and unseen toxins every day. There are literally tons of toxins released into the air that we're breathing every day. Car emissions, emissions that are produced from factories that are making all the manufactured foods today. Uh, chemicals that are going into our groundwater sources, and even a lot of chemicals and things that we bring into our home that are very toxic and carcinogenic. And over time, we get this bioaccumulation in our body, and this can have a direct impact on our functional health. Now, most toxins we actually choose. Things like fast foods, processed and prepackaged foods loaded with preservatives and high sodium, um, frozen foods, tobacco, alcohol, even prescription drugs build up toxins in our body over time. So what's happening is we're just being left with a very sluggish, overweight, toxic body. Now again, our lifestyle has a great influence on our functional health. So if you think about it, the oversized meals and things that we're consuming today, our sedentary lifestyle, even our children today uh, are just rarely participating in any physical activity. They come home from school, they grab the snacks, they hit the TV or they're down in front of the computer and obesity is certainly reaching alarming rates with our children today. Even our pets are suffering today because they're eating a lot like we are and we're seeing obesity climbing uh, with pets today. So basically this type of lifestyle is leaving us unwell. If we begin to focus on what is the right type of lifestyle What's the right types of foods that we should be eating, the right type of support we should be using, and really just getting some moderate exercise going. This can have a direct influence on our functional health, and believe it or not, these influences also affect the function and expression of our very own DNA in our body. So changing our lifestyle certainly is what is going to have the greatest impact on our body achieving wellness. You know, as we wrap up our presentation today, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you have a functional wellness plan? Now, what your plan should look like? I use PLAN as an acronym in my clinic, and the P in PLAN stands for Personalized and Proactive. Do you really have a program that is personalized for you? A program that can really direct you nutritionally, what type of support you should be using, the types of exercise that you should be doing, and is this a proactive plan that is really supporting functional health? Are you thinking long term? That's the L in plan. You know, folks, we didn't become unwell or overweight overnight, and it's not going to go away overnight. We've got to stop thinking short term and begin thinking long term. The A in our plan stands for achievable goals. Are you setting goals that are achievable or setting goals that you know right out of the gate you're not going to be able to reach? And that really creates that kind of defeatist attitude, and we tend to give up very easily. So it, the thing is, your plan should really include achievable goals. And the end in our plan, which I think is the most important, is no excuses. There should never be an excuse for standing in the way of improving our health. Our health is truly our greatest asset. So improving your functional health begins with assessing your current functional state of health. The first step is to complete the functional blood chemistry analysis. 
And you know, folks, the best health care plan that you can invest in is you. We greatly appreciate you joining us today for our Functional Health, a True Health Care System presentation. If you'd like to get started today on improving your functional health and having your functional blood chemistry assessment done, give us a call at 417-883-0115 or visit us online at www.essential2health.com. I'm Dr. Stuart Hoover, and I wish you all the best in health.